Hello everyone and welcome to the course and in this particular uh, discussion we are going to discuss uh, frequency domain Fourier transformation. In the previous lecture we have discussed about the uh, special domain how in using a special domain concept uh, we can design different kinds of spatial filters, convolution filters and can improve our images as per our requirements. So, similar things can also be done, but instead of exploiting a spatial domain, we can exploit the frequency domain through the Fourier transformation and uh, we can also achieve quite good results. So, uh, this discussion we are going to focus on this. We know that uh, a, a wave which is uh, shown here uh, can be segmented uh, into different waves. So, this wave, the lower one is the sum of all these waves. And this is what uh, uh, basically it was uh, uh, in 1768 by Jean uh, Baptiste Fourier. He mentioned that any periodic function can be expressed as a weighted sum, and this is what the weighted sum of sines and or cosines, and that we call as Fourier series. So this the the fundamental was laid down in 1768, and uh, at the this function at the bottom. Uh, which uh, I have just mentioned is basically is the sum of four functions above which you can see here of uh, different wavelength. So, Fourier's idea in uh, 1807 that periodic functions could be represented as a weighted sum of sines and cosines was met with skepticism. People did not appreciate at that time, but uh, uh, later on now in digital image processing it has been adopted though we are here we are mainly think, uh, thinking in a linear fashion, but uh, also for a remote sensing data which is a two dimensional data still we can employ this thing which we will see uh, very soon. So, the same example is given here that this is the combined sum of all these wavelengths uh, waves which are shown here. So, uh, the variations in digital numbers along a line on this image A can be expressed as a range of sine waves which is shown here in the lower figure of different amplitude and frequencies. So, the, the different amplitude and frequencies when you sum you get this thing. So, the cumulative effect is the same as the real spatial frequency distribution of the image. Now, other functions can also be expressed in integral sines or cosines multiplied by a weighing function that is Fourier transforms and function can be recovered by inverse operations with no loss of information. It, this means basically that what we do through a, from a spatial domain we transform into frequency domain, do the filtering there and once the filtering is done we reverse the transformation or inverse transformation Fourier transformation and we restore the image with better uh, results or uh, with or filtered image. So, this is a, a two steps process first is a or rather three steps process first is that is from a special transformation from a special domain to frequency domain do the filtering within the frequency domain and then come back into the special domain. And uh, of course, the main aim which of entire this course is to enhance the quality of images so that uh, we can do the better interpretations. So, uh, any image or natural scene uh, can be regarded as a and reconstructed from a spectrum of sine waves with different directions, wavelength and amplitude few examples we have seen and such a reconstruction is known as Fourier synthesis and the uh, uh, dissembling of an image into family of sine waves in a Fourier analysis. Because the filtering once you transform from a spatial to a frequency domain then filtering becomes much easier and you can select where things have to be filtered out and later on you transfer back or inverse transformation. So, spots, lines and bars that forms the targets for the test of acuity and form images too are themselves made up of sine waves. And small dots and closely spaced lines are dominated by high amplitude at high frequency and this is why they are difficult to recognize. 
so as size increases of these dots high frequency components become lower in amplitude and those in frequency range to which the eye is attenuated increase and perception and distinction become easier of these digital images and beyond this however very low frequency components increase in amplitude effectively degraded perception and distinctions so mathematically the technique for separating an image into various frequency component is basically the fourier analysis and the the basic principle is illustrated in this figure as uh, also we have seen this figure that uh, uh, we are uh, you know this uh, cumulative image which is a sum of all these images uh, so that we can take out different frequency components and later on once we remove that uh, suppose noise is coming uh, from only one uh, frequency or one uh, amplitude a particular frequency wave so we can remove that one and then we recombine and get a new results filtered results so the fourier transformation of an image image is a two dimensional so things have to be little different the result of such a separation expresses the spatial attributes of an image in terms of their frequencies amplitude and their orientation and it is a transformation that enables certain groups of frequencies and direction to be emphasized same as in uh, the ultimate aim is to filter the image make certain enhancement in the image so same as in special filtering technique we want we try to emphasize some features maybe regional features or local features and we want to deemphasize certain so similar things we will do but different way instead of special domain we will work in frequency domain so though that emphasize high frequencies and suppresses low frequencies our high pass filter similarly in special domain also you have seen high pass filters and low pass filters similarly there are medium and low pass filters in frequency domain too more moreover uh, selected image ranges of special frequencies can be removed or retained in the resulting image using bend stop and bend pass filter basically the concept of this uh, filtering techniques have come from electronics where in like in audio or video some noise is coming you want to remove so you are identify and uh, that frequency and then remove that frequency wave from the sig total signals so the process is analogous to electronic filtering as i have just mentioned in amplifiers to reduce hiss and rumble re enhance the bass or treble and so on in a sound recording and filtering can be implemented through the fourier transform when it is said to operate in frequency domain or in special domain of image itself process as convolution for convolution filtering we have already discussed and in frequency domain filtering is more powerful because here the uh, you know that uh, which are the features Uh, are causing noise in your scene which are the features which are, are causing distortions in the scene so the identification of those things is much easier in frequency domain than in special domain that is why it is more powerful compared to special domain but uh, processing is more required better understanding of images and further processes is required therefore people generally prefer a special uh, domain filtering rather than frequency domain but it is more powerful the frequency one so instead of using a special domain that is the x and y coordinate space of an image an alternate coordinate system that can be used for image analysis that is the frequency domain and in this approach an image as mentioned earlier also is separated into various special frequency components through application of mathematical operation that is known as fourier transform and conceptually this operation amounts to fitting a continuous function through the discrete digital number values if they are plotted along each row and column in the image and the peaks and valleys along any given row or column can be described mathematically by a combination of sine and cosine waves with various amplitudes frequencies and phases and the frequency domain field refers to the plane of two dimensional discrete fourier transform of an image and the purpose of the fourier transform is to represent a signal 
as a linear combination of uh, sinusoidal signals of various frequencies. So, this is how uh, mathematically that uh, there are different uh, uh, options are available like uh, one dimensional Fourier transforms and its inverse equation both are given here. Similarly, two dimensional Fourier transform and its inverse uh, here it is also continuous case, it is also continuous case, we will later will see discrete case. So, this is one dimensional Fourier transform, this is two dimensional Fourier transform equations are given. Here this is one di uh, dimensional uh, Fourier transform, but discrete case not continuous case and both equations Fourier transform equation and inverse equation. So, uh, there are various options are uh, available here depending on requirement of your filtering for the image. So, after an image is separated into a component uh, special frequencies, it is possible to display these values in a two dimensional scatter plot known as a Fourier spectrum. And this Fourier spectrum basically will allow us uh, to design a filter and then remove the noise or whatever. Uh, features which are which you want to de-emphasize. So, lower frequencies in uh, seen are plotted at the center of a spectrum. This is important uh, to remember that the lower frequencies in the scene are plotted at the center of a spectrum and progressively higher frequencies are plotted outward in which this is in a two dimensional scatter plot or a in a Fourier spectrum. And uh, this features trending horizontally in the original image result in vertical components is a, uh, a rotation of the uh, components here or axis here that uh, the originally when they are trending in horizontal they will appear in this uh, Fourier spectrum along the vertical component and features vice versa is also true that features aligned vertically in original image result in original horizontal components in the Fourier spectrum. So, there is a rotation by 90 degree this one has to remember while uh, interpreting the Fourier spectrum. So, if the Fourier spectrum of an image is known, it is possible to regenerate the original image through the application of an inverse Fourier transform. So, for one dimensional uh, Fourier transforms both inverse and forward we have all seen for two dimensional continuous and discrete. And this operation is simply the mathematical reversal of Fourier transform. Hence, the Fourier trans spectrum of an image can be used to assist in a number of image processing operations. An example like a special filtering can be accomplished by applying a filter directly on the Fourier spectrum and then performing a inverse transform. Inverse transform has to be performed that is the last step in Fourier. Now, example this is a, an image and a, this is the Fourier spectrum. And as mentioned that the, com uh, the components or features which are horizontal here or uh, along you know in more, more or less along the x y they will appear here and the features which are in uh, vertical directions they are appearing here. And the, uh, as also mentioned earlier that the uh, low frequency features as mentioned here that the low frequencies in seen are plotted at the center of a spectrum. So, the low frequency are plotted at the center here and high frequencies are uh, at the uh, periphery or outside away from the center. So, this is how the Fourier spectrum is interpreted. Now, filtering if we want to filter now we know which which direction so it becomes very easy now so uh, if we want to filter say the features which are roughly say north south north north south uh, south 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 uh, south east direction then we we will remove these uh, uh, from the fourier spectrum and uh, once we go for reverse inverse transformation then these features uh, directional uh, uh, features will be uh, de-emphasize. So, the features which are here if I remove from here in the Fourier spectrum then the resultant image will not show them or they will be de-emphasized. The examples are here given again that uh, this is the original image, this is the Fourier spectrum after filtering and uh, then inverse transformation this is the result. So, the high frequency uh, low frequency features which are in the center has been removed and only high frequency features here 
have been kept which are away from the center and therefore in the resultant image you are seeing this kind of where high frequency feature. So, spatial filtering in a frequency domain which is the A, high frequency blocking filter which is, is given here uh, in the and B, inverse transform image and low frequency blocking filter and inverse transformation there. So, this frequency filtering operation is carried out as per the following steps. The original image is transformed to its frequency domain representation using Fourier transform. Then image processing selecting an appropriate filter transform functions and multiplying it to the elements of Fourier spectrum. The inverse spectrum Fourier uh, the in, uh, inverse Fourier transform is performed to return to the spatial domain for display purposes. So, you restore the image after filtering and this is what the uh, in short it this is what the inverse Fourier transform. Few more examples are given uh, like here this is the image this is the Fourier spectrum, you want to remove certain frequencies, you want to emphasize certain frequencies, you can do it as in this example is done and then uh, you know this high frequency features have been removed from the, uh, the perimeter side and uh, like uh, and then only low frequency features. So, regional uh, features have been emphasized whereas high frequency features have been or local uh, speckle kind of thing have been removed and the high frequency features features have been de-emphasized and you see a very smooth image. So, this image uh, for interpretation is not as that good because it is suffering from lot of distortion, lot of errors like these almost uh, missing lines or horizontal lines are there. They will appear here in, in Fourier transform as vertical lines. So, if I remove this then I am removing basically these lines. And similarly, if I remove the outside uh, uh, outside uh, in this is, uh, Fourier scatter plot uh, away from the center, then I have removed the high frequency features and this is what you see here. So, uh, on a different this is the example of JER5251 uh, short wave infrared image and on which uh, the which is the band 8 covering the tree and highlands. So, this is one example of how uh, beautifully an image with Fourier transformation and filtering can be improved for imaging this. Another example from Landsat MMS, MSS that in uh, Ethiopian highlands this is uh, severely uh, which is severely affected by spurious low data and uh, this uh, and the Fourier transform if you a spectrum if you look you would find a vertical lines kind of thing you can remove in during filtering process go for inverse Fourier transform and this is what you see. So, uh, all lines have been removed here you get very good results. Whereas, in case of a spatial filtering what we do we take out the average of adjacent pixels which are not missing and then we take an average and substitute value for missing pixels. That That is basically a sort of cosmetic and a not a pure scientific method in that way. And uh, if there are many lines are missing, then spatial techniques will not work. But here uh, in Fourier transformation, it is very easy to remove such distortions or noises which are present in the data. And this is a very common uh, feature. Uh, of uh, remote sensing data many times because of some malfunctioning of sensors or CCDs, some transmission problems you may get uh, certain lines which need to be removed in order to restore the original quality of an image. So, that uh, may be the that image of particular day of particular area may be very important and therefore, and the technique is available the best suitable technique for here is the Fourier transformation. So, this uh, methods involves an identifying frequency it is uh, just a recap of the thing identifying the frequency and amplitude of stripping and other uh, uh, pervasive systematic effects. Systematic uh, and distortion defects can be removed very easily are uh, super, superimposed on the real variation by analyzing a Fourier transform of the image and the periodic noise can then be identified as a signal and uh, suppressed by filtering in frequency domain. Again you go back for inverse transform to spatial domain then restores a cleaned up image and in frequency domain the noise is isolated as distinct signals 
and almost wholly removed by specially designed filters that operate the frequency domain. If you more like one example here, horizontal lines are there in as mentioned earlier that in Fourier spectrum they will appear very strongly in form of vertical lines. So, once these vertical lines are removed, inverse transformation is performed, this is what you see. So, they, it is very hard to interpret this image and uh, if you make interpretations, you may make some wrong interpretation, wrong decisions about the features which are present, but if you uh, filter it through, through Fourier transformation function, then you may restore a very good quality. So, this is A is airborne multispectral scanner image containing substantial noise as you can see, B is the Fourier spectrum of the image that the noise pattern which occurs in a horizontal direction in the image will appear vertical in a, will appear as a vertical direction in the Fourier spectrum. Now, the C is as I have mentioned that the vertical wedge block uh, filters that has been applied to this, this block filter has been applied and uh, this filter passes the lower frequency components of the image, but blocks the high frequency because these lines are appearing as high frequency components of the original image and this is inverse transform of C. So, the image restoration is the very good quality of this uh, analysis. So, Fourier analysis is useful in a host of image processing operations in addition to spatial filtering and image restoration applications. However, most image processing is currently implemented in the spatial domain. Also earlier I mentioned that many people prefer and because they find easier to uh, understand the spatial domain, but if they adopt and go for a Fourier transformation functions and, re and remove the noises, high frequency features and other thing, then it is equally good or much better, more powerful technique is definitely Fourier transform because it uh, this in those it involves number of complexity of computation required in frequency domain. Many in digital image processing softwares uh, which are not having advanced features may not have even frequency domain filtering techniques or uh, this Fourier transformation functions. This situation is likely to change as uh, we improve uh, in the computer hardware and uh, uh, software and more research uh, may be required uh, to make these things easier. So, this brings to the end of uh, this uh, uh, filtering techniques. In previous lecture, we have discussed spatial filtering and in this one, we have discussed the frequency filtering techniques. Both are uh, very useful, very powerful, but frequency domain filtering for certain line, missing line, higher frequency features, it is much more powerful, but it requires more computation time and better understanding and maybe all digital image processing softwares may not support. Whereas, very uh, standard, normal, uh, low end uh, digital image processing softwares will definitely will support a spatial domain filtering technique. So, um, if one is having both in their systems, then both should be tried on an image and see that uh, and do the comparison and see that which one is get, getting better results. I am sure you would get definitely better results with when you will apply for Fourier transformation functions. So, thank you very much.